Welcome back, coding fans. Here we are at Corners of the World. Uh, there are lots and lots of ways to solve this pretty efficiently. Uh, but if we notice that we have uh, at the top of the page uh, sets of four gyms and switches in the same exact pattern, and at the bottom of the page we've got sets of two gyms and switches uh, in mirroring patterns. So one way to go about this is to set up a function for solving for two gyms or switches and then running that twice when you get down here. Um, our big deal here is you can only get to this green portal down here at the bottom of the screen uh, or this set of four gyms, through, four switches through the portal. Um, so we got to make sure that we run an efficient pattern uh, to get there um, the most efficient way possible. And if you're running that way, my suggestion would be go through and turn off all the portals. Come and get these two switches with the orange um, portal. Turn it on. Go get the four gems come down here, get these two gems, then go through the portals and get the four switches. Uh, that's one way to do it. I'm going to run a right hand rule uh, to get this going. And I'm gonna turn all of them off and I'm gonna get these two switches first, then come back through, get the four gems over here next, and then these two gems. And then I'm gonna turn this portal on and come over and get these switches. Um, and it's, it's not gonna be terrible, uh, but we'll see how this goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to get uh, our character to start and stop, I'm gonna run some uh, variables. So we're gonna have a gem counter. Fix that, gem capital counter. Um, and then we're gonna have that be a value of zero. We do the same thing with the switch counter. So variable switch counter, capital C O U N T E R, uh, and we're going to put that in as a value of zero. Okay, and then I'm going to write a function for collect or toggle. So we're going to say, okay, function call this collect or toggle. All right, it's just going to be the same one that we've been doing for a little while now. Um, so if is on gem, we're going to collect and count the gem. Don't forget to count it. So collect gem, uh, gem counter plus equals plus equals one. Okay. And then else if, get this black pop-up box, second one, add else if, is on close switch, we're going to toggle and count the switch. Toggle switch, and then switch counter, plus equals one. All right, we're going to clean this up a little bit, and this is how we're going to go. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is turn off all of my portals. Uh, and that will allow me to move around this section of two switches and six gems without going through any portals. So let's take a look at that one. Um, so we've got two portals. I've got a green portal dot is active equals false. And then we've got a orange portal and you can just copy and paste that and change green portal to orange portal. Dot is active equals false. All right, now I can run my right hand rule. I could go to the left first, but that would mean that my character would end up over here with the two switches at the end, and I want our character to end at this green portal. Um, because they're going to want to go over to the four switches with, or with the green portal next. So in order to do that, what I've got to do is I've got to get him blocked on the right. So our character is going to turn right 
and is going to move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and run this so that you can see where I want them to end up. Okay. And this is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my while loop and I want this to finish when I've collected all the gems. So while my gym counter, and you could do is not equal to, or I prefer less than six. Okay, and that's because all six gems are over here. And if we follow the right hand rule, we'll get this switch on the right, and then the one in front of them, follow over, turn right, go get those four gems, and end on this gem at the very bottom uh, where we are, okay? And each time we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna say, all right, collect your toggle. And then we need to give directions. Okay, we're gonna make some mistakes through here, uh, but so that we can see what's going on, uh, we're going to do this. So, let's take a look at if our character is blocked right, all right, if our character is blocked right, we want them to move forward. Okay, so there's that. Now, if you notice, when this character moves forward, they'll no longer be blocked right, so it won't know what to do. So we're gonna add an else if. We're gonna say, okay, else if is not, so exclamation point blocked right. If it's not blocked right, we're gonna turn right and move forward so that we will be blocked again. So we are going to turn right and move forward, and then we'll be blocked again. Lastly, we need to tell it what to do if it is blocked. So I'm gonna add a last else if, if it's just flat out blocked, you can't move forward, we are going to turn around. All right, so either turn left, turn left, or turn right, turn right, either one will work. Okay, let's go ahead and roll this and see where this screws up. So I turn right, we'll go this way. I'm gonna go through here, step through my code so that we can kind of see it. All right, collect your toggle, come to here. We're on the switch. So we're gonna toggle and count it. All right, right here. Okay, all right, so I in blocked right. And we're kind of screwing up right there. All right, so we are blocked right and blocked. So. We're gonna fix this by adding an and. So if you're blocked right, and you can move forward, okay? So he can't move forward, which means he is blocked. So if his blocked right and is not blocked, okay? So if you're blocked on the right and you can move forward, move forward. If you're not blocked right, turn right and move forward, which will keep keep him on the right. And then if else if is blocked, uh, and I think if we go through this progression, uh, we'll kind of fix that little hiccup right there. Um, that way, we'll be able to get to what's going on. So hopefully that fixed it. Sure enough, got there. Turn right, perfect. All right, following the right hand rule. Keep rolling, keep rolling, get that one. All right, now, if we ran this correctly, he should stop here. Perfect. Okay, we've gotten everything. We need to get our character to those four switches. Okay, so that is the green portal. So we're gonna go green portal dot is active equals true we're going to turn that on and then so that will be on we then need to walk through it move forward and then we're going to turn it back off again copy and paste 
All right, so green portal is active, true. Move forward, so then we'll be over there. And now we're gonna turn it back off, okay? And now we're gonna run the exact same while loop. So we can go while, so copy, paste, okay? And instead of while our gym counter is less than six, we now have two switches. We're gonna run our switch counter is less than six. Okay, and then we'll go run and we'll see if that fixes it. Now, just kind of looking at it, if I was gonna run an update, I would have this collector toggle and the directions, the right hand rule as a function so that I could run while gym counter is less than six, you know, go ahead and solve that function or run that function. And then while switch counter is less than six, run the function. And that'd be a great way to run an update, be a little bit more efficient, look much cleaner than what we have here. All right, let's see if we got that right through and then off, he's not blocked so, or he's not blocked right, so he'll turn right. And we'll keep going here. And, our switch counter less than six, get this last one, turn around, up oh, and move forward. And there we go. Um, this is not an easy puzzle. Like I said, there are so many different ways to go about solving this one. Um, like I said, writing functions, you know, collecting or toggling two and then running that, getting them to move around, all of that stuff. Uh, but I found with all the ways that go, uh, that I've gone about and done this one, there's probably eight or nine different ways I've thought to do this. Um, this seems to be the one that I like the most. Anyway, see you on the next one. Have a great day.